stop me if you've heard this one. Ready? Hi there. Would you like to save 10% on your purchase today and sign up for our in-store credit card? Yeah. <sighs> Chances are, you stop me. What isn't stopping is annoying offers like this one and others sitting in your mailbox right now. Ever wonder why credit card companies are so persistent? Here's why. Last year alone, credit card companies made $175 billion off consumers just like you and me. With the nerve to pose as the good guy, wrapping their offers around huge promises of sign-up bonuses and 0% APR. Psst, for a limited time only. And while it feels like they have our best interest in mind, it's really just the interest itself on their mind. Even for those of us disciplined enough to pay off our balances each month, the ease of use usually results in a much higher rate of spending. But is there a better way? Introducing the Starfish Way, an online rewards platform that's truly for the consumer. Even starting, dare we say, a consumer rebellion. One for the good guys, like you and me. An opportunity for no interest, no extra spending, and oh, much higher reward percentages that have many canning their card. Here's how it works. Just open Starfish and simply make a deposit into your Starfish e-wallet. Only the money you've budgeted or plan on spending that month on groceries, gas, restaurants, and other stuff. Then, when you're shopping at one of our merchants, you may have heard of some of them. Amazon, Walmart, Target, Home Depot, Apple, CVS, Kohl's, Best Buy, Lowe's, Nike, ah. <sighs> Okay, you get the point. There's a ton, almost 500. All you have to do is check out using Starfish either in-store or online. Just find the merchant you're shopping at, enter the checkout total, tap review and pay. Confirm the totals and then tap complete purchase. That's it. Now just tap view your gift card and tap to use. Present this barcode to scan or provide the gift card number and PIN and begin earning instant cash rewards. We like to call them perks, up to 20% perks. Just slightly better than their double rewards 2% credit card with interest. And it works just as simply online by entering the gift card number and PIN during your digital checkout. And as we like to say in the slightly corny voiceover world, there's more. Actually, a lot more. The Starfish platform was designed to help you earn and learn, meaning now that you're potentially minimizing your spending and maximizing your rewards, we want to help maximize you and your earning potential. Tap the podcast button for exclusive episodes on financial literacy and success principles taught in a fun, short, and an engaging way. In this sense, Starfish combines the perks that you earn with the wisdom you'll learn for a maximum rate of return. Oh, okay, there's that corny thing. Let's say it this way instead. I love the Starfish app. We've saved over $100 a month just in cash back. We love listening to the Rascal Podcast. Gives me a shot to get what I want out of life. Is it time for you to can the card, earn, and learn with Starfish? The statistics are stunning to me, what's happening right now. Because, man, when we were 26 years old, we had our own house. We were, uh, Lori was an accountant, I was an engineer. We were excited to start our family and we just didn't have enough money. Now, I'm looking at the statistics today. The millennial generation is age 26 to 41. Nine million of them in the last nine months have moved back in with their parents. Nine million in the United States of America. Now, don't worry, because there are already nine million millennials living with their parents, so that just brought it up to 18 million American millennials living with their parents, which is one out of four people that are aged 26 to 41 in the United States of America. How many would people say the 45-year plan combined with this inflation and this out of control, you look at what's going on, it's like, I, do you really think that when they were 18 and said, what's your goal when you're 40? To move back in with my parents. What is going on? What I'm saying is the 45-year plan is not the plan if you're looking to create wealth, if you're looking to have a reasonable lifestyle with a little bit of time on the side, is start studying what the Ray Crocs, what the people that are building platforms. There's so many books on this. One of my favorites is called Platform Revolution. But if you take a look at it, this is what they do. Let's use Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Let's use Ray Kroc at his platform of McDonald's. Let's use um, <clears throat> credit cards. Isn't that what we saw in Starfish, cutting out the credit cards? Do you realize that in the United States of America, there are a billion plus active credit cards? A billion. 
There's only 330 million Americans with a billion credit cards. Do you realize the greatest platform business in the world is the credit card banking system? What they have figured out is how to sell this idea of convenience. Isn't a credit card convenient? You walk into a store, they say it's $27. You whip out your card, you flash it, you scan it, you do any number of different ways, and you get your product and you walk out of there and they charge the merchant 3% because you used a credit card. And they'll tell you, but don't worry, we're not charging you, we just charge the, that merchant over there. Well, don't you think the merchants are going to have to jack up the price to cut? Well, that's a lot. So they give you the perks of convenience, and what it draws them for the profit is $75 billion just in the merchants alone. Mark Zuckerberg, he gives you perks of, hey, you get to share a new picture with your friends and profits, billions of dollars in ownership profits go up to a few people at the top. You know what? Do you know what we've done with our bit? Well, you know what Starfish is? It's a platform for the people. Here's what Starfish is proposing. If the biggest platform in the world was created based upon credit cards, based upon the idea of offering convenience to the people for 75 billion upfront charge to the merchants, and an extra 175 billion in expenses for people because out of those billion credit cards, last month, 47% of the credit cards used were not paid in full. When you don't pay your credit card in full, guess what they do? They zing you. 21% interest, 16.9 is like the low. I mean, it's crazy. So these profits, so here's what we propose own your own business. That video that you saw starting out, that's not my business, that's your business. That's our business. In other words, you didn't have to create the platform, you've just got to recognize that if you do not leverage a platform, you will be a 1X the rest of your life. And if that's what you wanna be, I'm not here to argue that you out of that. But if you're like me and Lori, we're like, we didn't, I looked at the people that were building these platforms, like what makes Mark Zuckerberg any different than you? What makes Ray Kroc any different? You know, the only thing is they were willing to think a little differently. And you say, yeah, but I never thought that way before. That's why we gathered together tonight, just to talk, just to start thinking a little bit and saying, if we don't change something, what will ever change? I mean, if we continue to settle, like the plan is, laborers, you do all the work, and we will get all the leverage. And I'm like, well, hold on a second. How come our families can't have dreams bigger than 1X? How come we can't go out and do some things a little bit better? And so here's the opportunity. You get to own your own business. The profits come to you. Do you realize that the Starfish platform, what we do is 50% of every dollar that comes into this company gets paid back to the owners. And everybody who becomes an owner, becomes a member, owns their own business. Now, how does that work? Well, we talked about Starfish. Um, <clears throat> let's see if anybody would ever use Starfish. Hmm. Did anybody ever shop at, show of hands, anybody shop at Amazon this month? Okay, or last month. How about Target, Walmart? How about a gas station or grocery stores? Do you realize in the last, in the last two months, we've added 80 stores. We are closing uh, just under 500 stores. Uh, so if it's not on there yet, give it a month. It'll be part of your business. Oh, but what about the pricing, Orrin? Well, we have everything Walmart, Amazon, Target have just at a lower price. Oh, I shouldn't say we, you. You, my friend, have a business where you will never have to apologize for the price again. Isn't that one of the biggest things that every salesman or saleswoman has to deal with? Oh yeah, but your price is higher. 
No, our price is actually lower. Starting out, that's just for the customer because there's cash back on everything. For $60 a year, the average person in our business last month that used the platform 15 times saved $42. And the total price is $60 a year. That's an 800% return on investment. Let me just do a test here. If you had $100 and I told you that that would have a return of 800% investing in a stock, how many people would figure out a way to invest that 100? Okay, an 800% return is a great return. That's just the tip of the iceberg of your own business. I'm not even here to talk about this. I, that's why I, I love that video, because in the video I'm like, there's your hamburger. But if I were Ray Kroc, would I seriously spend all the time to, let me tell you about the sauce. Let me tell you about the pickles. Here, taste another one, and someday I'm gonna have a Big Mac. That's not what I'd be here if I was talking to you about a business. If I was talking to you about a 1,000X, I'd say, Phil, you can have a business that's a billion X. Because what I am proposing is wherever a credit card is used, I say we replace it with Starfish. It's a billion X opportunity in the US alone. Now we don't have to be greedy. Let's just take 10% of it. Would anybody be interested in a 100 million X business? 100 million X, you realize how many radical transformed lives that would be. You don't have to create the platform. You don't have to create the platform, it's already created. You just have to become a student of the business. There are, for every student, true student, hungry student going out and building their own business, there'll be thousands of customers that are just enjoying the benefits of Starfish. And that's great. In other words, I don't want people that want to be customers to be business owners. That's not what we do. I'm doing this meeting tonight because there might be one or two people in here that understand what I'm saying, and that's the person I want to work with. It can grow very fast when you get somebody with the business mindset. I'll give you an example. Back to McDonald's. Do you realize the McDonald's brothers in 19, early 1950s were making $100,000 each? in just three restaurants for McDonald's. And when Ray Kroc ate their hamburger and saw it, he said, you have the most amazing system in the world. This could be worldwide. And you know what they said? We're doing pretty good. Now we wouldn't be interested, we're doing pretty good. The McDonald's brothers are the ones who created that system, but they didn't have the vision to capitalize on it. Ray Kroc did not create the system. He was just smart enough or had enough vision to see where it could go. What Chris Brady, who is a systems engineer and the CEO of uh, Life, and myself as another systems engineer, what we did is we wanted to create a system to give the people a chance to fight back. I think it's ridiculous when one-fourth of the 26 to 41-year-olds have to live in their parents' house and we act like that's okay, like that's the norm? I w isn't this supposed to be the wealthiest country in the world? Is anybody else concerned about this? When I, go, I, I sit there and people are like, well, why don't you just enjoy the things, you know, uh, God's blessed you with, what, why don't you just enjoy it? Because if somebody else is hurting and you have an opportunity to help and you don't help, I think you will be judged for that. Like you will be held responsible. Doesn't it say to whom much is given, much is required? So if we can create a platform, look, this consumer rebellion is, to me, is the biggest deal that I've ever done in my life. Lori and I are more excited about the consumer rebellion than anything we've ever done. Let me explain why. I mentioned earlier, Every time, what, they, what the credit cards have figured out how to do is insert themselves into a pipeline into practically every purchase going on. I think the numbers are 77% of all purchases are through credit cards now. 77%. That means cash is used less and less and less. Now watch this. That two to 3% on every transaction is $75 billion. And 
That's not even their real business. How many people would like a side business at 75 billion? A side business, okay? Here's their real business. Their real business is, now they won't say this, but I guarantee you, I guarantee you, they're sitting in boardrooms like, can you believe these people? These financially illiterate people for convenience use our credit card and we charge the merchants 75 billion and then we stick it to the people for another 175 billion because they don't pay the credit card off. In fact, they know they've got all the data. They say that if you use a credit card, you end up spending 20% more than if you paid cash. So they love it two ways. They're like, we get 75 billion on our side business and that's just our foot in the door. So that then we can come back and stick it to them some more with a 175 billion hit when they can't pay it. And guess what? I'll hear people say, oh yeah, but Oren, I get 2% cash back if I use that credit card. And do you realize who's paying for that? Do you, if you study the numbers, the bottom 20% never pay their card off. So the, those most in need are hurt the most because people who can pay it off are supporting a system that is abusing them. You're not going to get me to sell out my character to hurt my neighbor. So what am I doing here? I'm saying, am I the only one? Is there anybody else that's concerned? Is there anybody else that would like to profit by being a blessing? Because that's what we're doing. Look at this. Here's what I'm proposing. This is the whole presentation. Everything else is just details. If you get this, you get the whole thing I'm up here for. There is a $75 billion business opportunity, and I'm looking for partners. Is there anybody here that understands that for every time there's a 2 to 3% transaction going on in a credit card, that 2 to 3% could be paid to you, and we'll pay you 100% of it. We'll give you the whole thing if you refer. If you use it, you will get the whole 2 to 3%. It turns into what we call PV in our business. That's just the monetary system, and we pay 4 to 6% PV. In other words, we give you the whole thing. Just stop using the card, and let's start splitting that 7,500 uh, 75 billion into a business, but watch this. Here's the best. For the first time, I love the profession of word of mouth marketing. I love the profession of community building because it, you build communities of people and you can teach them so many things. But for the first time in the history of this profession, we've done something that has never been done before. You do not make money off of people in this business. You make money by blessing people in this business. Let me explain. There's a $75 billion business, and what we're proposing is, let's not charge anybody for late fees on credit card. Last year in the United States of America, credit cards charged 19 billion in late fees because somebody didn't pay their bill on time. To give you an idea, the largest community building business in the world is 8.8 .8 billion. So late fees alone are twice as big as the largest community building business that's ever been built. So there's a huge opportunity. The blessing side is, by teaching people to not use credit cards and use Starfish, we'll split 75 billion as business owners. But here's the kicker. Every customer and every member that uses Starfish will never have to pay a late fee for a credit card you didn't use. You'll never pay interest on a credit card you didn't use. People are like, yeah, but people will want to use a credit card. Not if they understood the damage it is causing to so many people. You know, the hard thing to do when you start quoting billions is Stalin said it this way. One death is a tragedy. Millions of death is a statistic. Those aren't just statistics. Those are life tragedies. Those are divorces happening because people are tired of fighting about money. Those are losing of homes. Those are kids that can't um, continue to go to a private school and get the right values or what, whatever. How many tragedies happen due to lack of money? 
when Lori and I wanted to have four kids, we decided we can't do it. We're only going to have two. I guarantee you, Lance and Jeremy are really happy that we made a different decision, <laughs> our two youngest, and that Lori could be a stay-at-home mom because we built our business to the point. But we never had this. We never, if you say, well, hold on a sec. You mean to tell me that all of the people in Port St. Lucie and all the different areas of Florida that are using credit cards, that I go teach them to use Starfish, and it's convenient, use Starfish. And that's why I love everybody gets started as a customer at first, because I don't want you to be an owner until you're sold out to be an owner. I just use the Starfish as a customer. Try it for yourself. And once you use it, you're like, well, that wasn't that hard. It was a change of a habit. But for $75 billion, would you be willing to change a habit or two? I mean, to me, it's like, I mean, well, it's your dreams, you know, so, and then it's like, and remember that you're making, for every penny you make, you're being an additional $2.20. If, if you make a dollar in the business, that means you bless some family with an extra two twenty-five dollars for a credit card charge that they didn't have to pay. Do you get that? If you get that point, you build a business upon a blessing to your neighbor. And once I understood that, so then I was like, okay. So it really boils down, here's the question. Do you want to be part of the credit community in which 250 billion of our neighbors and our income flows to the credit cards? Or would you like to be part of the cash community, the starfish community, and the 250 billion goes back to the people? Who needs it more? You think the bankers need some more? You think credit cards? MasterCard, 600 some million credit cards alone? The consumer rebellion transfers the pipeline income back to the people. Back to the people.